Let's draw repeating ribbon brushes in Clip Studio. Hello, today I would like to show a quick Clip Studio tutorial on how to make your own repeating ribbon brushes. And you can use them for all sorts of crazy fun things. I use them because I'm lazy and don't feel like drawing complicated backgrounds. So I draw one complicated picture and then I use it to make complex backgrounds pretty quick. And there's all sorts of practical uses for it. So it's a lot of fun. I'm going to draw, uh, I use Clip Studio mostly on an iPad, but I also use it occasionally on a computer. And I'm going to build the brush on the computer version of Clip Studio so that you can see what the mouse is doing, but you can easily do it in the iPad version as well. The first thing you're going to want to do is set up a document that isn't very tall but is very wide and then you draw whatever you want to repeat. I've done city skylines, crowds of people, cows, flowers, but today I'm going to try to do cables because a mess of cables is fun to look at, it's useful in sci-fi drawings. I try to have the seams line up on each side as best as I can and there are different ways to do this, just pick your favorite. Then you draw your pattern and you add details to make it look fun or you keep it nice and simple, it's totally up to you. But when you're done the line art, it's important to carefully fill it in with either color or grayscale. It's easy enough to change a color image to grayscale or to black and white after the fact. But anyway, whatever you prefer, spend time on this so you don't have to fix the same mistakes over and over and over again when you're using it as a brush. All right, once you've got your image there, uh, make sure that the background is transparent and we're gonna add it as an image material so that we can turn it into a ribbon brush. Okay, so you go over to your um, materials tab and then you hit the menu over here. We're gonna register image as a new material. We're gonna call it cord. And then this is important, under this little menu here, material settings for brush, hit use for brush tip shape. And then save it under monochromatic pattern because it's monochromatic. Okay, so now we have it registered in our material folder. Now come over here to our toolbar and uh, click on the, the decoration subtool. And I usually put mine into effects, um, but you can put them wherever. Oh, it doesn't look like I've made any custom ones on my PC. Anyway, okay, so come over here uh, in this menu up here, hit create custom subtool. We're gonna call it sci-fi chord. Direct draw, yep, brush, yep, tool icon under the effect category. Okay. So then, brush size, you put a little eyeball there so that the brush size setting will show up. Um, anything with an eyeball behind it, beside it will, will show up. Uh, and um, anything without it won't. And we'll also put pen pressure. We'll hit, uh, the, the size will be determined by the pen pressure. And then you go to ink. Um, you can uh, click the opacity eyeball so that it shows up and then there's some other cool options here but for today we're not going to do those um anti-aliasing yep Whew. hope i said that right brush shape now this is where it gets kind of fun um so skip this part for now hit brush tip and click on material click here and then search for the material that we made and i'm aware i spelled chord wrong i'm a musician <laughs> So I'm always spelling it the wrong way. Okay, um, I guess musicians can spell good, but I, I do not. Okay, so brush density, you definitely want to have that show up in your settings. So you click the eyeball. Um, the angle, you need to change the angle of application to uh, 90 degrees, and I'll show you why in a minute. Right now it's showing up here as like nothing. But as we come down to um, stroke, we're going to click ribbon and then it's going to show up. There's different ways to repeat your image over and over again. Um, you could like have it go straight and then reverse or it just repeats or it doesn't repeat at all. It's a one shot or it repeats randomly. All these different ways but I always do. Um, I try to set up my ribbons so that they would naturally repeat um, so that as I'm you know drawing with my pen stroke it can uh, yeah repeat beautifully and naturally. Okay. So um, you don't need the eyeball here because you're setting it up to repeat anyway. Um, and then the repeat method, you don't really need that either because, uh, or at least not for my purposes today. Then you got all these other options, textures, watercolors, don't care, erase. Um, if, you're, if you're gonna draw with this on a vector layer, vector erasing and all these things, you gotta kind of 
go through these, but you don't need to right now. Basically, we're just looking through the rest of these because as soon as we um, close off of this, it's it's kind of a pain to change the settings after the fact. So anyway, um, stabilization, you're definitely going to want that as an option because it helps spraying effect. Um, we're going to take that off. And I'm not going to have it adjust by speed. Um, post correction for... Um, yeah, let's have that option just in case we want to play with it later. And then I don't want any of the rest of this. Starting and ending. Eh, I like it all. Anti-overflow. Okay. Once you've got it set up the way that you like, depending on your version of Clip Studio, you will either uh, hit the save button or just close the menu and then it shows up in your decoration toolbar and you go nuts. As you can see, I like to draw in grayscale because then I use uh, gradient mapping to change the colors easily. Anyway, that's the basics on how to make your own ribbon brush. It's, I think, really simple and obviously the more time you play around with it, making the settings nice, um, you know, making your artwork look really good so that it repeats really nicely with no uh, you know, obvious seams or anything like that, it looks better. Uh, but I think that's all the time I have today for a tutorial on how to do it from scratch. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I've made plenty of them and uh, they save a lot of time and they look pretty cool. So thanks for watching.